Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this quick session, I will share how to troubleshoot non-starting SQL Server agent. Okay, so this is your SQL Server agent and you try to, to start the SQL Server agent, right? You can see here SQL Server agent is starting, but it is not, right? It's trying to start, but it is not. Just you wait, 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 but uh, the start is times out, right? So in this in this kind of situations the first step that uh, you should do is f a little bit wait until this error message comes out okay so let's wait a little so what does it say okay so okay the request failed or the, the service did not respond in timely fashion consult the event log or the applicable error logs hmm okay so Let's first first step you should do is you should go to SQL Server agent logs. Okay, you should go there. So you open to Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, error log, right? So log, go to log here. If you sort it, you will be able to find SQL Server agent job related logs. Okay, open notepad. And try to find it okay here you can see no this is old logs okay now you can see my system timeout yeah, system time is different it's very old log so it is not showing exact logs so SQL Server agent uh, logs are is useless right so now we will go to event viewer okay we will try to open event viewer and let's see what it is showing System logs first. I'll do. Okay. Here, SQL Server agent failed to start due to the follow server did not respond. Okay. We already know that. Okay. Timeouts happening while starting, right? Agent. Hmm. Okay. This old log, right? Uh, it's not related to us. Okay. So, so now event, event logs, SQL Server agent logs are you, you can see cannot help here. So what should we do? How to troubleshoot? In this kind of situations, um, you should first use Microsoft tool called Process Monitor. Okay, Process Monitor. You will just go there, Process Monitor, and download this tool, Download Process Monitor. Okay, so we will download it and we will put this tool to our D database server. Okay, this is my database server. So then I will unzip, extract all, extract. Then I will start this one, process exe. Okay, run as administrator, do not forget. Agree. Then as you can see, this, uh, this tool is collecting process level information. Okay, what each process is doing. It will it will tell you right for example let's tell uh, for example here you can see this process right is doing this accessing this path this path this path this path doing this kind of jobs right then explorer exe is doing this job or something something is doing the, so overall this tool tells you process level information process level logs okay what 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 steps process is doing okay very detailed logs okay so in order to troubleshoot our issue first of all i will click on this and we will stop it okay then i will i will clean the logs okay because uh, we don't need these logs now so then i will start the logs again by clicking on this capture and try to reproduce the issue okay start so you should wait a little okay do not forget to wait until the end because it will tell you the main cause okay so we should wait until the error comes out let's see so you can see the logs are very much populated already so let's wait a little okay so starting Okay, let's see. Yep, error comes out, right? 
here we go so we will stop now you can see there are many many process and very much there are many logs to go okay how to troubleshoot so first we will go to filter filter and try to process name and then here sql agent okay sql server sql agent exe you can see right click add click ok then you can see you will be able to see all the sql agent related log right so from these logs for example if we start from beginning you can see process is starting thread is being created the uh, image is being loaded right loading image then accessing registries and accessing to these locations you can see the step by step what this process is doing while starting right so this is a result success success repairs not found or something so now how to find it what's the problem here right how to find it so so usually you should go to the bottom before thread exit right so here thread is exiting right we are stopping here so we should look at what we are doing what we were doing before exiting right you can see here we were accessing we were trying to access odbc sql 17 dll right 17 dll we are we were trying to access but name not found right you can see name not found it means SQL Server agent was trying to load DLL, but it could not found. And as a result, right, uh, thread is exiting here. Thread exit. Okay. So there are many noises here. You can see other name not found, name not found. You can see, but this is not related because mm, in many, uh, not here, for example, uh, here, for example, right? And uh, here, for example, right? So, there are many things which might be noisy for you okay do not get distracted you should go to the bottom and see what what we were uh sql agent was doing before exiting right it was trying to find odbc sql okay bingo we found the reason odbc sql was removed from the server okay and how it was removed we, we don't know of course often okay it might be removed by your colleague by your windows team or uh, we, we don't know how it was but all the bcc sql does not exist okay to confirm this we will go to control panel and open uh, this uh, like kind of programs and features and see really all the 17 all the bc driver 13 is available of course but there is no all the bc driver 17 right so we need 17 why because uh, my SQL Server uh, version is 2022, and this 2022 requires ODBC 17. Okay, other versions of ODBC does not satisfy. Okay, you should be careful. Therefore, you should, if you have many versions of ODBC, you should be careful while uninstalling ODBC. SQL Server agent uses ODBC to connect to SQL Server. Okay, if ODBC uh, driver does not exist, it means that it cannot connect and as a result, it will fail. Okay, so how to resolve this issue? To resolve this issue, we will go to ODBC, ODBC Microsoft, SQL ODBC driver, right? Go there and uh, try to find ODBC. Okay, we need 17, right? So you should find 17 version. Okay, then you should find this one, right? uh, 64, because SQL Server uh, 22 is 64 version. So we will click on it, then it will download, right? So we will open it and install. Okay, except, except install it okay finish right then we go back to sql server agent and try to start okay now you can see it is started right so to summarize like while troubleshooting this 
non-starting service like SQL Server agent does not better SQL Server for example right and you don't know the cause like even if you were it's not showing anything right you don't know what to do you go to process monitor and uh, collect the logs go to straight exit point and try to find where we are exiting okay why we are exiting i hope that you found this session useful thank you